everybody, this is Praxis, and today we got our delivery of gravel. It got delayed a few times, so we're kind of waiting on that at the beginning of the day, but it finally came, and I ordered one ton of it, and it seems like that's just about the right amount. It finished filling out the other greenhouse, which it used to have like a big crater from where I had to, you know, dig down and, you know, do some pipe repair. Uh, and in this greenhouse, it's, um, it's a little bit high on this side, but we left it that way to get the scaffolding up. Uh, once it gets leveled out to the back, I think it's going to be just the perfect amount. So one ton worked really well. There's been a lot going on today. If you look up, you can see there's a silver tarp that's getting put over the top of the roof. We're really getting close to putting on the actual metal roof, uh, you know, beginning that process anyway. I think it's going to be about four, maybe five days of working on this uh, side to get all the foam on here because it took about this, that amount of time to do the other side. Uh, but you know, we've got more more rain coming. We have been shoveling, uh, like you saw yesterday, all the dirt's going uh, into there, and there's all those layers of plastic and foam. And at this point, I really want to start keeping that area dry because if it rains and we get a lot of water in there, the rain's going to go underneath the foam, the foam's going to all start floating, and all of our effort to try to pack that stuff down is going to get kind of ruined because uh, it'll, it'll turn into a mud swimming pool. So we've got a huge tarp up there. It was a medium duty tarp that I bought specifically for this. It's 40 feet by 40 feet. Uh, it overhangs the sides just a little bit. Uh, I've already learned in the, per in the first 20 minutes of putting it up that medium duty means that it's gonna probably start ripping and the grommets are gonna start pulling out if you put a lot of tension on them. I, you know, I, what does that mean that a light duty tarp would be? Would it be like tissue paper or something? I don't know. But it really only has to last a few weeks uh, and then you know we're gonna be taking it off anyway. So I, that's why I didn't go for heavy duties is because I knew it didn't really need to last for much time. So anyway, my dad is up here. He's helping, Josh is over here. Uh, we had a lot of cinder blocks. Uh, you can see cinder blocks here, cinder blocks on the other side. And that was used as a uh, kind of defensive barrier for when the truck came in and dumped the gravel. I didn't want to be chipping the stucco. So Josh is stacking the cinder blocks. Those are all gonna get used in the subfloor area over here. I've been building the scaffolding. Uh, we're using these uh, just pieces of wood as um, uh, cross braces because uh, you know, I found out in Retrospect later on, I just didn't know how to put this stuff together, so because I didn't know, I kind of engineered my own way of putting it together. It works fine, so I'm, I'm going to stick with it on this on this side too, because it worked fine on the other side. So I'm working on that, and uh, you know, my dad, like I said, he's up there, and he is uh, just getting the tarp all nice and taut so that it doesn't blow away. I don't I don't think that you can see them, but if you look up in that direction, if you see little things moving around, uh, you know, the the wood face the insects. There are, there's gotta be a hundred of these lady, it's a, it's a mix of ladybugs and wasps, and it's been really um, a, a little uh, terrifying because, you know, the wasps are fighting each other at this time of year, they're really angry and agitated, it's getting warm, uh, they're buzzing all over the place, and then you got these ladybugs, and while the wasps don't tend to land on you, the ladybugs absolutely do. In fact, the other day I was wearing white, ladybugs are attracted to white, especially this time of year, I believe. They used to like overwinter at like the hills of Dover, like those white chalk cliffs in England. And they still like instinctively look for white this time of year for hibernating. I was wearing a white shirt and I had ladybugs landing all over me with wasps in the mix. So every time a ladybug landed on me, I thought it was a wasp. So uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's been a little bit challenging, but staging's going up. We're gonna start working on this wall. Once this is done, we'll finish up this front face. And then uh, my dad and I were talking about how we're gonna actually execute working on that roof up there, because that's really high. That's like definitely like break bones height, maybe even die height if you hit wrong. So we're trying to come up with a, a safe way of approaching that. And uh, in a couple of weeks, you'll find out what it is. And so will we, because we, we don't know what it is yet. That's it. Thanks for watching.